So to me, Trekstock is a charity that helps young people diagnosed with cancer. And their tagline is helping people thrive through and beyond cancer. So it's not just about the cancer journey itself, when people are acutely ill. It's also about the long-term effects of cancer and realising that often cancer will always be a part of a person's life. So I'm Lauren and I've recently joined the Trekstock Young Persons Panel. I think what Trekstock's going to be able to do, which maybe some other charities haven't been able to do as well, is just the support. The information is fantastic and of course you want information on your type of cancer and you want information on where you can go to get sources of help, but also you want the support from other young people. When I was originally diagnosed, I didn't meet any of the young people with cancer. I thought I was unique. So now through the work of Trekstock, I can meet other young people with cancer and realise that I'm not alone and you can meet somebody that automatically can share that that story with that that experience that sort of only you both can understand So I've been a part of Trekstock now for uh, just over two years. Trekstock's just a niche on its own at the moment because it's using people who've been through this experience. I mean, one of the, the ladies here, Ruth, today, she's a doctor and she was also a patient. You know, having people like that around is, you know, Trekstock's main advantage and why it's such an amazing charity. And I don't know about you, but for me, I was given a variety of booklets from different charities and even if they're telling me the information mm. I want to know, the photo would be a 65-year-old yeah, yeah. woman and you just sort of think, I already feel like someone's plucked me from my normal life yes. and made me yeah. feel completely alien at 28 and I want to feel normal. Um, welcome along everyone, it's good to see you guys here and thank you for coming from so far. We have people right from way up north to way south, Yay. way southeast. <laughs> so I'm really excited to be able to use the ideas that you guys gave us through our last um, meeting and the ideas since and some of the content and put together some articles that we think will help young adults um, as they go through their journey right from diagnosis to beyond. We last met in November, so it's been a little while. Since then, Josh and Lauren have joined us, so welcome to you guys. Mm. I always find when I come here, I learn something new that I didn't know about what people have to go through when this happens, because you just see cancer as cancer from the outside, whereas when you're here and you learn the ins and outs and what people actually go through, it's not just the, the disease side of things, it's actually down to different things that you don't even begin to think Ideally, about. Ideally, you'd have information on exercise and nutrition from the start, or yeah. the ability to access it as part of like holistic care, as we always say. It's so nice to sit at this table here today and talk with people through their experiences. I mean, we have loads of meetings in one direction and we don't come up with this many good ideas, so it's great to see a team working together for something, you know, so great. Today feels like a day I would want to be involved with, even if I didn't have mm. cancer, and it's nice to have something that you want to do irrespective of the cancer. I think it was just amazing how young and fresh and what a fun day it was going to be straight away. But I think that's what the charity represents anyway. It's very youthful, it's very trendy, it's kind of, you know, I don't really like to use the word cool, but it is a very cool charity, which I think, again, there's no other charities like Trek Socks. So, yeah, I just knew as soon as I walked in, I was like, this is going to be a good day. 